The roof is open today at the Krokyo Dome here in Tokyo, Japan. The only city to survive World War VII. Tokyo saved the Earth with their giant robots and monsters. Now they'll thrill the universe with their regular-sized robots. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho-ho! Va-va-va-boom! And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten oh he just got crushed and it's first and ten If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Man, the defense looks clueless out there. First and eight to go. for a touchdown! <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And 
And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Kaboom! And the quarterback, he caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Call that about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Second down and more. And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And they needed that big run right there, Bricks. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. Third down, and, well, good luck. A big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. First and two. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming. I'm not saying the ref has been rocked, but he drove out of the field in a 
brand new purse. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Don't worry. If he shots in the gut, maybe he... There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh, that's huge! Look, and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And here comes the extra point attempt. Right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. He refuses to go down. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. First and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. I'm 
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And the defense jumps outside trying to... And then unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway exit five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Get your motor running. <laughs> First down and one. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. First down and one. Second down and five. already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. Third down and five. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's gonna have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit and it's first and ten and he's running like a and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult smart move there stopping the clock with their first time out and for all you know maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash and it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Eggs. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have math. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Oh, and that's when it feels like... 
to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. through the defense for a big game. Like some pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Oh, oh, and pickles. Gotta have pickles. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and a lot. And the defense goes for the jugular. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah, Philadelphia, good movie. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down and two. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. 
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. He just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And that'll bring up third and one. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. up eight yards on that pass second down and two First and ten. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he finds his target for two. I'll just assume that to orcs, this is arousing. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. That, my friends, was 
an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. down and never gonna happen. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and six. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size, because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Points, so they're going for two. The defense comes up big, stopping a two point attempt. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And 
And it's first and ten. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And, this, and he just used his beast fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. 20, the 10, and he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he's held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, my God. 
I like this. They're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. And little known facts, Orch invented the war dance because people just in general assume everything they do is bloodthirsty and aggressive. And they are not wrong. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a... That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. First down and six. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? And defense calls its final timeout. Good. I gotta run to the John. That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesaver's dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not get ready for a date. Well, you never know who you're gonna meet when you're in the shed. You've gotta catch that. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And it's first and ten. And 
And that's a run for no gain. The Terminators terminate the opposition and are victorious. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...